We have a 2006 BMW 525i. We just replaced the electric water pump and the thermostat. And we're gonna show you how to bleed the coolant system. The water pump is electric, so you shouldn't be running the car without a coolant. There's a special procedure how to bleed the system. Here you go. Uh, fill the tank with the coolant. That's number one. Make sure your battery is fully charged. Uh, always use original coolant. Yeah, we got our battery maintainer connected. We're gonna set it to programming, about 13 volts. To keep the battery at 13 so it doesn't die out. And we're all set to go. Alright, so we'll fill it up with coolant. Coolant comes full strength. We gotta mix it 50 50 with water. There's gonna be a mixing chart in the back of the bottle, so read the back of the bottle, you'll be alright. So we'll fill the fill the tank up, let it settle for a while, let the coolant go into all the places where it could go without bleeding. Once it stops bobbling up, then you could uh, start bleeding the system. Well, the, it's so light right now because we put water in there. We already put a gallon, a little bit over a gallon of coolant in there. So it's gonna be enough. Now we're gonna top it off with water. Wait for it to go into the system and we'll show you how to bleed it. Okay, so our coolant and water mix stabilized. So it's not going in anymore. We have our battery voltage maintainer connected this is not a scan this is not a charger this thing just keeps a constant 13 volts throughout the car's electrical system to prevent the battery from dying and uh, any other problems that might occur when the battery is dying with the computers now you're gonna need to get in the car turn on ignition do not start the engine just turn the ignition on Set the heater at fan control at the lowest speed and the temperature control is at the highest. Press the gas pedal all the way to the floor and hold it there for about 10 seconds. This will activate the cooling system bleeding in the car. It's gonna be bleeding the cooling system for about 12 minutes. See, we have cool circulation going on there. It's gonna be going on and off. You will be able to hear the pump running. Well, you can't hear it behind the battery maintainer. But, uh, see, it's pushing the air out. So the pump is gonna turn on and off. A lot of times, within the 12 minutes, all you need to do is keep an eye on it. Make sure there's no more bubbles coming out. Once you see that, your coolant system should be bled. But uh, manual said to do it all once. I'd suggest doing the procedure a couple of times. It's better safe, better be safe than sorry. So you can see it's pushing the air out of the system. After about maybe 10 minutes of uh, bleeding, You'll see no more bubbles coming out, maybe just some small ones, a little bit, but yeah, now you can hear the pump running. Now you could hear the pump running. You could hear the coolant circulating through the system. Once again, the pump is gonna turn on and off numerous times, so don't mind if it turns off. Just wait for it to go back on. That's normal. The most important part is to keep the battery fully charged at all times. Remember this procedure takes about probably like half an hour so you, your battery must be charged. Maybe uh, have some sort of uh, booster pack connected to it or something like that if you don't have a battery maintainer. 
don't connect the charger the charger will might overcharge the battery it may may cause some spikes in the electrical system and it could cause damage to the computers so either have a battery maintainer or maybe a booster pack or so or just a new battery our booting procedure has been running for about five minutes now so you don't have any any, any of those big bubbles coming out anymore just the small ones but you could still hear the air going through the cooling system so keep on bleeding all right as you see this is our second time activating the bleeding procedure and uh, we just got a whole lot of bubbles coming out of the cooling system <laughs> Now after about two or three cycles of the of the bleeding, we started the car on, let it run, we have a scanner connected to it, which is checking for temperature to make sure it's not overheating. Now we waited uh, about 15 20 minutes when the car was running. Our radiator fan went on. Means the thermostat is open. Now we check our little scanner, the temperature is fine, so you're all set.